What's up YouTube? Back with another video and today we're going to go over five plays in the Nuggets playbook. So let's get into it. The first play is the quick five out two. You can call this for anybody that has three point priority. And if you don't know what play priorities are, I'll leave a link to a video in the description. The video is from 2K19, but it's exactly the same this year. And the play is designed to get you a three at the top of the key. So right here we call it for Gary Harris and he's going to start in the corner and Murray is going to have the ball on the wing. Then you're going to swing the ball to the opposite wing. Harris is going to run through two screens, come up to the top of the key and get open for a three. And if he's not open, the play ends in a pick and roll so you can try to create a shot off of that. So I remember this play from the Bucks playbook and I like it. Double screen plays are usually pretty good and this play is pretty fast. So if you don't create a shot, you usually have enough time on the clock to get another play in or just try to create a shot, pick and roll, ISO, whatever you choose. And another reason I like this play is because when he catches the ball, his feet are right behind the three point line. So if you call this for someone that doesn't have a range extender, it's not really a big deal. The next play is the quick five out three. You can call this for anybody that has three point priority and is designed to get you a three in the corner. So right here we call it for Murray and he's gonna be on the left wing and Harris is gonna have the ball on the right wing. Then Millsap will set a screen for Murray and Murray will act like he's gonna cut to the rim but then he's gonna get a screen from Jokic then run to the corner and get open for a three. And if he's not open, the play ends in a side pick and roll with Jokic so you can try to create a shot off of that. So I like this play, especially because it leads to a corner three and corner threes are cash. And I like it especially for Murray because he has hot zones in both corners. He also has hot zone hunter and catch and shoot on silver and corner specialist on gold. So this play combined with those badges is a good recipe. The next play is the fist 15 give 25 out. You can call this for anybody that has pick and roll ball handler or pick and roll wing priority. And it's not really designed to get you a particular shot, but it does open up driving lanes to get some baskets at the rim as well as driving kick opportunities. So right here, I call it for Murray and he's going to start in the corner and Harris is going to have the ball at the logo. Then you're going to dribble up to the wing, hold B or circle to do a handoff with Murray. And once Murray gets the ball, he gets the screen from Jokic. And from there, you could drive to the rim to get some layups or draw the defense in to kick out to your open shooters. And another thing you can do is once Murray comes off the screen, hit your defender with a hesitation and pull up for a three. And if you're not open for a shot or you don't have space to drive, give it back to Harris and the play goes into a side pick and roll with him and Jokic. So you could try to create a shot off of that. So this play is okay. I like the concept behind it, but it could be very hit or miss. So if you do that handoff too early, the play should just continue to run, but it doesn't. It makes you pass the ball back to Harris and then you have to pass the ball back to Murray. And then by then the defense is able to stop it and the play is pretty much dead. Also, when trying to dribble up to the wing, sometimes the defender can jam you up and make you pick up the ball. And at that point, like the play is kind of dead. So that can get kind of annoying. So holding LT or L2 could help with that. Plus, Make sure you give Murray enough space to get the ball so that he doesn't go out of bounds. But despite that, this play is still good, but it's not really a play you can spam and be successful with, but you can sprinkle it in throughout the game and have it work for you. The next play is the punch point two. You can call this for anybody that has post up low priority. And even though it's a post up play, you can use it to get some open threes. So right here, I call it for Jokic and Murray is going to start with the ball at the top. Then Michael Porter Jr. will get a screen from both Millsap and Jokic, come up to the left wing and get open for a three. And if he's not open, give the ball back to Murray, then wait, then give the ball back to Porter Jr. And then give the ball to Jokic and from there you can create a shot from the post. So I really like this play and the play is designed for Murray to stay at the top. But if you noticed, I always move over to the wing. And that's because if you stay at the top and you pass the ball over to your shooter, whoever's guarding Murray will be able to contest the shot. So that's why I always move over to the wing to give Michael Porter Jr. more space to shoot. And if you're using the starters, Will Barton will be the one to get the shot. But I just subbed in Michael Porter Jr. for this play because he has an 87 three-point shot. And if you're using this in my team or or with a different team, whoever is at your small forward position will be the one to get the shot. 
And the last play is the punch five. You can call this for anybody with post up low priority. And it's just a post up. So right here, call it for Jokic. And from there, you could do whatever. Post hooks, post fades, drop steps, whatever you want. And I also prefer calling it on the right side for Jokic because he has hot zones in the mid range, like along the baseline. He also has hot zone hunter on gold, deep fades on gold, and corner specialist on gold. So you could do some post fade cheese along the baseline and score a lot of points like that so those were the plays any questions you can leave them in the comments hope this helped you thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content